my name is Keith Knight, and I am a gentleman cartoonist. I had always drawn as a little kid. I drew on walls, and then I drew in class, and I never got in trouble for it. In fact, I kept on getting higher grades because I would include drawings in, in my English papers and history papers. I did a parody of Animal Farm. I had students take over the high school, and I was like the lead pig or Napoleon. I did caricatures of all the students and teachers. My teacher went nuts and gave me an A++, and he said, like, you capture the essence of Animal Farm perfectly, but more importantly, you should be doing a syndicated cartoon. And that was the first time anyone ever said that to me. I totally give him credit. He was an amazing teacher and just very encouraging. I had teachers who said, like, wow, you have the opportunity to be a really great illustrator. Don't do cartoons. A lot of my stuff's autobiographical, so it's just stuff that happens to me. The experience I have in, like, say, at a movie theater or going to the dentist or doing whatever, I think those type of real situations are what everyone can relate to. That's one aspect. And then another aspect is I do a political cartoon called Think. I try my best to put sometimes people in my position or in a position of, like, what would it be like to be a minority or something like that? I really try to focus on issues concerning communities of color because I just don't see that stuff tackled enough in cartooning, political cartoons. I just sort of try to take different news items and, and put my twist on it. I have nine deadlines a week. Sometimes I have to do like six dailies in, in one night and then in a day. My ideal day would spend a, a, you know, a couple of hours on the computer, then leave and hit the cafe, work for about two or three hours there. There's the drawing aspect, there's the scanning and coloring aspect, but there's also the business side, which is fulfilling like orders through PayPal, through my website seeking out more freelance stuff. And then there's the convention aspect. It's a one-man band, so it's, it's a lot of work. If you can write, that's the biggest thing. And then history is always good to kind of have a grasp on, especially if you're doing political stuff like I do. That's what I love about cartooning, because it's very DIY and very simple, if you want it to be. All I need is a pen and a piece of paper, and you can create these worlds. That's it.